Good little race out here in the Northern Cape. Race number six looked to be one of the better races on the program, and it's been won by... Uh, undoubtedly, probably the best sprinter out here in the Northern Cape, and that's number three, Bright Flame. Another gutsy, tenacious victory. Well done, Colin Story. Well done to Cliffy Miller, who owns and trains this individual. And, uh, Colm, you had to work early. Of course, uh, deep barrier gate was never going to be in your favor, but uh, hats off to the horse. I think um, we need to pay credit to him because he fought all the way to the line. Yes, definitely. I had to say he done it much easier in a bigger race than the straight. You know, there was less... Uh, you know, people do <laughs> interfere with me, but today I had to do it the odd way. You know, respect all to him. That time when he beat them, get you know, it's the reason why I beat it because he showed his loss after that. I have to say, uh, bad draw. I said that this is my best ride for the day, but you know, the, if the draw don't beat me, I will win the race. So, <laughs> yeah, it was close. <laughs> they were coming for me at the end, but you know, it got the little horse and he fought all the way to the line. Seems you've got a good relationship with him because uh, you've done a lot of your winning on him. And uh, just an opinion from you, is he better over five or six or doesn't it matter? Yes, uh, like I said to him, when I got back, you know, if we, if we run it over 1,200, we prefer to run it <laughs> if it cracks a draw. You know, just make life easy and, you know, give it all chance. Um, but I will prefer the 1,000 minutes, to be honest. Very well handled by you. And um, last question, did you think you got up at the line? Uh, yes, I thought so. I had a double push there. <laughs> I looked like a little uh, soup meat, if I can call it. <laughs> but <laughs> you know what? The, the nose was down, and it's what matters most. Uh, yeah, just before I go, big thanks to him, Cliffy. Uh, thanks a lot for all the support. I can't thank him enough. Um, it's very odd all over the country, and also now that we know about Kimberly and so on. But yeah, we'll keep fighting. Correct. You've got the ability to handle them anyway. Thank you, Ben. Well done, Colin. Wim Cliff, good to chat to you. I think it's probably my first interview done with you, but uh, it's on a winning note, which is always better. Yeah, it's nice. You know, and I, I, I think it's a fair horse, you know, and um, he, he proved it in a, in a Flamingo sprint as well, you know, the betting world sprint. Um, but he's a nice horse, and he beat Timcat, as you said, you know, and I think Timcat is one of the best horses I've ever had. And uh, just your opinion as a, as a training side of things, better over five, better over six? No, definitely five for long. Yeah. So he's got the ability to uh, go with any of them. Of course, today uh, at the line it got close, but um, I think ability pulled him through. Yeah, I think so. You know, you gave that other horse that got close to him seven, nearly seven or six and a half kilos. And, and it's not a bad sort as well. Um, he, but the only thing that I think that counted in our favour, well, in that horse, is this, not in his favour, he runs every week. But my horse, my horse um, you know, he had a very bad draw. He came out of the draw with speed and he had to do it all. But good ride from Colin. I'm very happy with Colin. Clean sweep for you, so uh, you take the stake check home. Oh, definitely, definitely. Uh, I'll have to give Tinny maybe five rand, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Congratulations, Mr. Miller. Thank you, and I would say thank you to Hollywood Bets as well. Thank you so much. Well done. Very well said. Nice horses. Number three, Bright Flame. He's undoubtedly the best sprinter out here in the Northern Cape, and he's proved it once again. He's uh, had to work hard in the early parts of the race, and he overcame that bad draw uh, to fight them off. Well handled here by Colin Story. Well done to Cliffy Miller, who owns and trains this individual. And I don't think the road ends over here for Bright Flame. Sprinting, 1,200 metres in front of them, and not a bad start. False power probably could have got away better, but um, he's not too far off them. Our moon shadow, any amount of pace around runners goes.